Welcome to Welcome Way to Success for the Blind YouTube channel. It is our vision. Stay with us, keep in touch, improve your ICT skills, and win the world through the technology. Please do subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Hi everyone. We are discussing Microsoft Word lessons with NVIDIA Screen Reaper, from basic to advanced, so stay with us gain new knowledge. Please note that, we are using, Windows 10 Operating System, Microsoft Office 2019, and NVIDIA Screen Reaper for our videos, so those commands can be changed according to differences of that components. Let's go to our today lesson. Hi guys, welcome all of you to the Way to Success for the Blind YouTube channel. This is the 12th lesson of our Microsoft Word tutorial series. First of all, I have a message for you. Now I have done 12 tutorial about Microsoft Word. If you want to know any topic in Microsoft Word, please put a comment in comment section. I will come with your request. Today our topic is how we can add heading levels to our text in Microsoft Word and how we can change default styles of heading levels in Microsoft Word. Now I am going to add heading levels to my topic. Way to success for the blind. I am going to add heading level 1 to this section. You can add from heading level 1 to heading level 6 in Microsoft Word document. Before adding heading level to this my text, I am going to check font styles of this line. I am going to select it, pressing home key. W. Way to success for the blind. Selected. To check font style, I am pressing insert F twice. Unknown. Formatting. Formatting. Style normal Calibri. Calibri. On type Calibri. Style normal. Calibri. 11 PT. On size 11 PT. Default color. Default color. Just mean black. Align left. Line left. Line spacing 1.1 lines. Line spacing 1.5. I'm escape this dialog box. Document one word. Now I'm going to apply heading level one to this line. First of all, you have to select it. Now I have already selected that line. Then press Control Alt One to apply heading level one. The shortcut is Control Alt One together. Control Alt and 1. Heading 1 style. Outline level. Then it says heading 1 style. Heading level 1 has applied. Now I am going to check font style of this line again. I am pressing insert F twice. Calibri light. Font type Calibri. 16 PT. Font size 16 PT. Pale aqua blue. Font color blue. Align left. Align left. All styles have changed. So you have to set the styles again. This cause to waste your time. There is a solution for this. Document one. This is the solution. You have to set default font style of each heading levels according to your requirement. For that, you have to go to the style dialog box. To go to the style dialog box, the shortcut is Control Shift S. Control Shift S is for style. I'm pressing Control Shift S. Apply styles toolbar. Apply styles property page. Style name. Edit. Select. Then with arrow keys, find style you want it's main heading level one two three like that heading one i have selected heading one then press tab key until modify reapply button 
modify button then press enter on it modify style dialog properties formatting name edit alt plus n selected heading one here you can set font style for heading level one then press tab key until font style based on style for following paragraph mso generic control container font combo box calibri light headings changes font with up or down arrow you can change the font here i'm going to change my font to times new roman i'm pressing down arrow font combo box calibri times light times headings new roman. t m trebuchet m times new roman then press tab key until font size font size combo box 16 changes the font size of the selection with up or down arrow you can change font size according to your requirements here i am not going to change it set it as 16 then press tab key bold button makes the selection bold toggle if you want to bold press enter on it pressed then press tab key again italic button makes it as italic if you want to make it italic you can press enter on it i'm not going to press enter underline button for then it as underline modify style dialog properties formatting font color accent one button then it asks font color i'm pressing space bar on it space modify then with up or down arrow find automatic data grid more color automatic not selected automatic press enter on it modify style dialog properties for then press tab key formatting script combo box latin alt plus f you don't want to do anything here then press tab key align left button pressed aligns the paragraph at the left indent the align left button has pressed if you want to not press it press enter on it i'm not going to change it center button centers the then it asks center button if you want to center your heading levels one you can press enter on center button align right button al then it asks align right I'm navigating with tab key. Justify button aligns the paragraph. Then it asks justify. If you want to justify your text, go ahead in level 1, press enter on it. Single spacing button sets the line spacing to single space. Then it asks line spacing. Tap the line spacing which you want and press enter on it. 1.5 spacing button sets the line spacing to 1 and 1 half space. I want to set it as 1.1, so I'm pressing enter on it. Pressed. Then press tab. Double spacing buttons. It has double spacing. Increase paragraph spacing button increases paragraph space. Then it has paragraph spacing. If you want to set it, press enter on it. Decrease paragraph spacing button. Decrease indent. I'm navigating with tab key here. Increase indent button increases indent or demotes. Style properties. Edit read only multi line. Selected font, default, times new. Here you can listening what are the changes which you have done. Style properties, edit read only multi line. Selected font, default, times new Roman, 16 pt, bold, complex script font. Like this. Then press tab key. Add to the styles gallery checkbox checked alt plus s. If you want to add this is style to style gallery, you can check it. I'm not going to check it. Then press tab key. Automatically update checkbox not checked alt plus u. You don't want to do anything here. Only in this document radio button checked alt plus d. Here, press down arrow. New documents based on this template radio button. Until new document based on this template. If you set it. This style apply to all document who will work in this computer. Format menu button O. Then press type key until OK button. OK button. Then press enter on it. Apply styles toolbar. Apply style. Then press escape key to escape this style dialog box. Document one word. Product activation. Now I'm going to select my first line. Page one section one blank. Heading level one way to success. 
W. Way to success for the now I'm going to apply heading level 1 again to this line. Heading 1 style. Now I'm going to check font style of this line. I'm pressing insert F twice. Formatting. Format 16 pt. 16 pt font size. Times new roman. Times new roman. 16. Default color. Default color. Bold. Bold. Align left. Align left. All changes have applied. For another example, now I'm going to show you how we can set default style to heading level 2. I'm pressing Ctrl Shift S to go to the style dialog box. Apply styles toolbar. With up or down, no left or right arrow, you can select the style you want. For an example, heading level 1 or 2 or 3. Heading 1. Heading 2. I have selected heading level 2. Then press type here until modify button. Apply button, modify. Then press enter on it. Modify style dialog. Then press type key until font. Style bit, style for fo font combo box Calibri light. With up or down arrow, you can select the font which you want. Here I'm going to select Times New Roman. T, I. Font combo box, I, E. Sande up, Times New Roman. Then press type here until font size. Font size combo box 13 changes the font size of the selection. With up or down arrow you can change your font size. I'm going to set it as 14. Font size A. 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. Then press type key. Modify style dialog. Bold button makes the sel font size combo. Bold button makes the selection bold toggle then press enter on this bold button to make it bold modify style dialog prop then press type key italic button makes it asks italic if you want you can press enter on it underline button formats the selection with a underline font color accent one button then it asks font color press the space bar on it space modify with up or down arrow find automatic data grid more colors automatic not selected automatic press enter on it modify style dialog then press tab key formatting script combo box latin alt plus f then press tab key you don't want to change any changes here align left button pressed aligns the paragraph align left button has pressed if you want to change this press enter to uncheck it Center button centers the paragraph. And it does center. If you want to check it, press enter on it. Align right button. Align right. Justify button. Justified. I'm navigating with that key. Single spacing button sets the lines. Then it asks line spacing option. Go to the option which you want and press enter on it. 1.5 spacing button. I'm press enter on it 1.5. Modify style dial. Then press tab key again. Double space. Modify style dial. Decrease paragraph space. Then it asks paragraph spacing. Go to the option which you want and press enter on it. Decrease indent button D. Increase indent. Style properties. Edit read only multi line. Selected font. Default. Times new roman. 14 pt. Bold. Complex script font. Then press tab key. Until. Add to the styles gallery checkbox. Automatically update only in this document radio. Only in this document, then press down arrow. New documents based on this template radio button. Until new document based on this template, then press tab key until OK button. Format me modify st cancel button name. Cancel OK button. Then press the space bar to escape this style dialog box. Microsoft. Now I'm going to apply heading level 2 to my second line heading level 1 way to blank microsoft word Some home key m then press shift and n key to select that line microsoft word selected the short m to add heading level 2 is alt control 2 alt control 2 is together double line spacing Heading 2 style. No, 
Now I'm going to check on style of this line. Format, align left. Align left. Bold. Bold. Default color. Default color. 14 PT. 14 PT. Times New Roman. Times New Roman. Escape key. Document one. Now I'm going to my third line to apply heading level three. Microsoft Word. Blank. Basic of MS Word. First of all, I'm going to select it. Basic of MS. The shortcut to apply heading level 3 is Alt Control 3. Alt Control 3. Heading 3 style. You heading can also level 3. Set B. default styles of heading level 3 using the style dialog box. Following the same method which I have done. So I'm not going to explain it here. Blank. Now I'm going to add heading level 4 to my fourth line. Basic shortcuts of MS Word. B. Basic shortcuts of MS Word. Selected. You can use shortcut for adding heading levels to heading level 3. From heading level 1 to heading level 3. To heading level 1, all control 1. Heading level 2, all control 3. Heading level 3, all control 3. After that, you have to follow long method to add heading level 4, 5 and 6. For that, first of all, you have to select it. Now I have already selected my line. Then press Ctrl Shift S to go to the style dialog box. Apply styles toolbar. Then with up or down arrow or left or right arrow find heading level 4. Normal. No spacing. Heading 1. Heading 2, Heading 3, Heading 4. Then press Tab key until Apply button and enter with the space bar or Enter key. Apply button. Document 1 word. Page 1 section 1 blank. Heading level 4 basic short. Yeah, it has done. If you want to change default font style of heading level 4, you can also follow the method I have taught you. I hope you have gained some new knowledge from this tutorial also. So stay with us and gain new knowledge. Please share this tutorial among blind community in your country. It helps them to improve their ICT knowledge. Thank you for staying with us. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any question regarding this video, don't hesitate to put comment in the comments session or send an email to Way to Success for the Blind, mail call W-A-Y-T-O-S-U-C-C-E-S-S-F-O-R-T-H-E-B-L-I-N-D at mail call. Thank you for staying with us.